How's it? Today we are going to learn how to use our Yeti mic here. Um, really top of the line equipment, but you got to know how to use it. Uh, first of all, take a USB cable and you want to plug this in. I'm going to show you guys how to use it in uh, GarageBand. So what you're going to do is uh, go to, and when you plug it in, it'll initialize and you can, um, hopefully it'll recognize that the Yeti is plugged in. And then you're going to go to track, a uh, new track and we're going to choose an audio and this is the key you should make sure it says like Yeti microphone or if you have a different microphone um, it'll say that and you may want to say I want to hear my instrument or as I play and record so you can um, hear how it sounds and we're going to use the input one and we're going to hit create now in that new track um, you'll notice right here it says audio 11 that's my track that we're using and now you notice it's picking up and usually I like to test it, test, 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 test to make sure it's not just getting the microphone from the computer. Um, one thing with the Yeti though is you want to make sure this red light isn't blinking. If the red light is blinking that means it's on mute and you have to unmute that. Um, you do have a volume for the uh, headphones so you can um, change that accordingly. Um, when you get your headphones, plug those headphones in and make sure that you can um, hear yourself as um, you're singing, you're talking, and so on. Um, I'm going to talk really quickly about the gain and pattern um, on your mic. So if we look at uh, the diagram, so we have these controls with the mic control, um, the polar control. Here's the mute and the USB and the back of the buttons. But this is the key right here. Um, there's two, uh, four types of modes. The first is stereo mode. This will capture the left and right. Maybe if you have like a choir going or someone singing on the right and the left, you want to um, just get that dual. Most though, we're going to use in um, this mode. Okay, and so this is you know best for singing, vocal performances, and so on. Um, Omni down um, directional mode. Um, as you notice, that's uh, four. Um, angles. So if you have, if you set this in, there's more sound all around that you want to capture, that would be good. Or if it's just front and um, behind, then you might want to choose the last one. Um, the gain, you want to uh, select, and again, the gain is over here. Um, you want to keep that low because if it's a high gain, it's going to pick up more of the uh, sound in the room. Okay, and when you record in a room, you want to also. Uh, make sure it's not picking up. Um, if it's a tile floor, it's going to echo a little bit. Uh, if it's a carpet floor, that's the best. I've heard the best place to record music is actually in a car because it's a very confined place, uh, blocks out sound, and it's uh, very carpeted or soft or cushioned. Um, so just keep that in mind when uh, recording your vocals. But you want to keep that gain button low on the left um, side uh, down here. Okay, and then if you want to pick up the you know a lot of the background ambient noise maybe if you're making a film or something you can crank that up to the right um, but hopefully um, as you're singing um, or talking um, and as you're recording here okay um, you'll be able to have some really quality audio um, with your Yeti mic so hopefully that was helpful for you um, give it a shot